good morning students so we have learnt about the mask so this if you will see this is used in uh, by the goldsmiths or in the laboratories for a very precise measuring of mass okay so this is also a beam balance and this physical beam balance gives the mass accurate almost accurate okay and it is used to measure very small masses like 1 gram 2 gram 5 grams like that okay so we have already finished the topic mass now there is uh, some activity which you need to uh, do okay so this uh is activity see given in which a pencil box stone wooden block and dusted is given you need to get a reading by using a balance what is their mass and then if you can get an electronic balance then you need to weigh them again and compare their masses so this is an activity which you can do now let's see the stop and reflect so we have already discussed about the conversions of different uh, units of mass so you will do question number a by yourself now let's see question number 2 fill in the blanks so mass is the quantity of gas contained in a in an object so the answer will be matter so the area of a regular surface or can be determined by standard formula and graph method then an electronic balance is used to measure mass of an object accurately so these are the answers written okay first matter first answer will be matter second one will be regular third formula graph and you will write mass okay so these are the answers now we'll see the next topic measuring time so all of us know the answer of the question what is the time everybody is asking na so why everybody asks about time because time is essential part of our life our all our daily activities are centered along this time or you can say based on the time okay so your school also starts at a particular time you give attendance at a particular time you sleep at a particular time okay so everything is time bound even the periodic activities means the activities which occur at a fixed interval of time like change of day to night or change of seasons so all activities are according to that time okay so these you can see the clocks which we see nowadays these are called analog clock the first one which has a dial and the uh, second one is digital watch which shows time in number okay so in an analog clock you can see there are three arms minute second and hour hand and what uh, there are 12 equal divisions each division represents an hour and there are five divisions in between which represents minute and the second okay in a digital watch the hour is separated with minutes and seconds by the help of two dots okay so these are the instruments which we use in now a days to measure time but how was time measured in earlier days the pictures which i have shown you earlier was of a sundial and uh you know sand clock so these or a water clock so these instruments used based on periodic activities now see here see the uh time in see all those clocks were based on time interval so what is time interval then so sun rises suppose 6 am and sun sets suppose uh, 7 or 6:30 pm so the time in between the sunrise and the sunset or one full moon to another full moon is uh, the time interval so earlier people used to base their clocks on these time interval but this was also not very accurate no so what happened people made the clocks which were based on different positions of the sun but what will happen suppose sundial is there 
which in which you can see the time according to the different positions of the sun and the shadows is made but uh, what will happen in a cloudy day so this can uh, cannot be related no or cannot be used as a standard measure or a standard unit so there was a need see here if you will see so every time this cannot work the water clock or the sand so this is uh, this ancient method were not such a uh, relatable they uh, could not work on a cloudy day or suppose for measuring very uh, very small amount of time you cannot use a particular uh, uh, unit so in 1658 the pendulum first pendulum clock was uh, made by hygens okay so what he uh, what he did he made a pendulum clock in which the oscillations were there in a pendulum and the there were three hands of a clock and which showed the time okay after that the analog clocks or the spring based clocks were made which we use today as wrist watches and the uh, wall clocks nowadays we use quartz okay so quartz crystals are used in the clock and the standard unit of time is second okay so this standard unit is same in each and every unit the bigger units are hour minute okay so one hour is 60 minutes one minute is 60 second likewise so these are the multiples of second 20 hour four hour makes a day so these are the bigger units of the time okay now let's see the smaller units are there like milliseconds like that so these are the sub multiples of the second okay nowadays also if you will see the hindu calendar it is also based on the full moon and and to another full moon like that okay so these all are based on the earlier um, uh, method of measuring time okay so these methods cannot be used as standard unit so there is a need of standard unit okay so here you can see some instruments which were used in earlier days for measuring time okay so sundial sun clock was there and sand clock and water clock were there This is a stop clock. So here you can see by pressing a button the watch starts and by pressing a button the watch stops working. Okay. So these are used in uh, laboratories stop clocks for measuring the time intervals. So this was all about time. Now we'll see about temperature. Now you see the next topic temperature. So what is temperature? What happens when you touch a hot cup of tea yeah you feel it that hot and what about ice cream or ice yeah it appears cold when you touch it so the measure of degree of hotness or a coldness of a body is called temperature so when we touch anything suppose i'm touching or what happens our skin is sensitive to the temperature higher or lower than the temperature so what happens we feel the hotness or the coldness but this method of measuring temperature you cannot say it reliable because everybody is not equally sensitive so how you are going to measure it so we use thermometer thermo means heat thermo means heat 
and meter means measuring device. So, the device which measures temperature or the heat is called thermometer. So, yeah, you will find a thermometer in your home also. That is a clinical thermometer which is used to measure fever. Another thermometer is the laboratory thermometer. Okay. Then one more is there that is called a temperature scale. So, first we will see there are the types of thermometer. Clinical thermometer. Okay. Laboratory thermometer. And the third one is temperature scale. So, the clinical thermometer which we use normally at home has a measure from 0 to 100 degree Celsius. It has 100 equal divisions and each division shows you the 1 degree. So, the lower fixed point, that is the lower fixed point, in a clinical thermometer is 0 and the highest or the higher fixed point is 100 degree Celsius. Okay. Then the lower fixed point is called minima and the upper fixed point is called maxima. Okay. Higher you can say we you can see here in this diagram this is a Celsius scale. So the upper or the higher which we are uh, we were stating that is called upper fixed point. It is also known as steam point. Okay, so water changes into water vapor at 100 degree Celsius, and the lower point is zero degree. So it is called lower fixed point or zero degree. C or the ice point. C. With this diagram, it is clear that one division represents one degree centigrade. So earlier, the clinical thermometer was based on Fahrenheit. So apparently, there are the different units used for measuring temperature. C. The body of the thermometer is. Uh, transparent okay so it is a tube like structure and it is filled inside with mercury okay mercury is shiny and opaque and it is very sensitive to small temperatures so what happens when it comes in contact with the temperature it rises up so here each degree shows one centigrade each division shows one degree celsius and the lowest point is zero degree Celsius. So, it is very convenient to use mercury as a thermometer liquid for the thermometers. Okay. Now, see the SI unit of temperature that is degree Kevin. Okay. And the other units degree Celsius and degree Fahrenheit. Okay. Now, all these units are interchangeable. Kevin is written in capital K which is a standard unit. Now you see here the formulas to convert the temp one te uh, uh, from one unit to another. So degree Celsius is equal. To so see here in this diagram of 2.13 and 2.14. So there are different scales are uh, there in comparison. And you will see that in Fahrenheit it starts with 32 and ends in 212. Whereas the Celsius scale starts with 0 degree Celsius and goes up to 100 degree Celsius. So, there are different uh, formulas to convert from Celsius to Fahrenheit. So, see the formula is 5 by 9 multiplied with F minus.